What's going on YouTube's me Andrew here. I'm gonna do my full review on the all-new HP Envy Slickbook M6-K015 DX laptop. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm gonna break down the product features and specifications for this laptop. This laptop features a 15.6 inch touchscreen display with the resolution of 1366 by 768, featuring an Intel Core i5 4200U processor, running at 1.6 GHz with a turbo boost up to 2.6 GHz, 8 GB of DDR3 RAM, 750 GB hard drive running at 5400 RPM, Intel HD Graphics 4600, built-in True Vision High Definition webcam and dual array digital microphones, SD card reader, two USB 3.0 ports, one USB 2.0 port, built-in Intel 2x2 high-speed wireless featuring 802.11b, g, and n as well as Bluetooth connectivity in order to connect your mobile phone or mp3 player. This laptop retails for $749.99 and you can pick it up at your local Best Buy. Alright, this section I'm going to look at the design and build quality of this HP NV laptop. Alright, let's take a look at the front. To the left side. To the back, to the right side, and here's the bottom, there's the Beats Audio on the left, and back on top. Right, let's take a look at the ports here starting from the left, let me focus my camera, there we go, All right, starting from the left, Kensington security slot. HDMI port, two USB 3.0 ports, SD card reader. Let's go on the opposite side here. Let me focus the camera a little bit better here. Right, starting from the right, AC charging port, Ethernet port, USB 2.0 port, and a 3.5 millimeter headset port. Next, let's take a look at the inside of the laptop. Let's look at the full keyboard and spacious trackpad and the full keypad. Let me show you the side of it. HP did a fantastic job on this HP Envy laptop. From the top quality construction build quality to the soft touch feel on the bottom plate, it makes it feel almost like it's a MacBook Pro-like design. Let me give you a better picture of the keypad and the Beats audio speaker. This laptop comes weighing in at 5.6 pounds and measures 0.9 inches thick. Overall, I've been satisfied with this keyboard. From the backlit keys to the spacious layout, this keyboard has been a pleasure to type on. Only issues I had was the trackpad was not as responsive as I would like it to be. This section I'd like to go over the viewing angles and overall display quality with a resolution of only 1366 by 768. Images were still crisp and clear. Next up, let's take a look at the viewing angles. Let's rotate to the left. Starting to blur out a little bit. All right, let's go back to the center. Next up, let's take a look at the viewing angles on the right side. Overall, pretty decent viewing angle. Alright, let's rotate the laptop back to the center. Now I'm going to test out the viewing angles on the front of the display while rotating it back. Oops. Let me turn it back on here. Oh, come on now. There we go. It's all the way back right there. Overall, this laptop has very good viewing angles. This section I'd like to go over the CPU performance, battery performance, and a couple of other items. This Intel Core i5 processor based on the Haswell architecture has been spectacular. From basic computing apps to heavy computing tasks like Adobe Photoshop, this laptop was not even breaking a sweat. Even for most of today's modern games, the Intel HD Graphics 4600 was able to play Tomb Raider on medium settings running at 31 frames per second. It just depends on the game you plan on playing. 
Here goes another tip in order to optimize your Intel HD Graphics 4600. You can go here and pick certain kind of options and settings depending on your configuration in order to optimize your visual graphics. The Beats audio was great but not spectacular, more of a marketing gimmick. However, after playing with the equalizer, the sound was much more cleaner. Battery performance has been great. I was able to get around 3.5 to 4.5 hours on a single charge depending on the task I was running and the screen brightness. HP CoolSense is another great feature that will detect if your laptop is not in a stationary position and will make certain adjustments necessary to the performance and fan speed that will help keep your laptop running cool on the bottom surface. Alright, this section let's test the boot up speed on the HP Envy laptop. Here we go. HP logo. Still booting. Welcome screen. And we're done. So roughly around 19 seconds. Which is pretty quick by the way considering there's no SSD drive in here. Alright, this section let's test out the touchscreen performance on the HP NV laptop. Here we have the Windows 8 start menu. It's pretty smooth scrolling. Hit the desktop. Back to the start menu. Very smooth. Let's test out the search function here. Let me type on the on screen keyboard. Let's look for a calendar. There we go. Calendar is showing up. Let me select it. Alright, let's go back to the Windows 8 menu. Let's check the side menu here. Let me go to search. Let's scroll right here on the apps. Very smooth. Overall, the touchscreen performance has been excellent. From the smooth scrolling to the fluid transitions, it's been a great addition to have on this laptop. Overall, this has been one of the best laptops I have ever used. From the top-notch build quality that almost resembles a MacBook Pro, to the spacious backlit keyboard and trackpad. An excellent performance from the Intel Core i5 Haswell chip with the Intel HD Graphics 4600, which is 60% faster than the previous generation and supports DirectX 11.1, OpenCL 1.2, OpenGL 4.0, which will help meet most of today's games. Only downside on this laptop is the trackpad is sometimes not as responsive as I would like it to be, and the backlit keyboard lighting is not adjustable. However, for less than $750, I think I can ignore those two cons for now. Alright guys, this concludes my full review on the HP NV M6-K015DX laptop. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Alright, thanks guys. Peace.